Srimad Bhagavatam, Canto 10, Chapter 44, The Killing of Kamsa. <coughs> Text number 15. Ne 
threshing. Threshing. Matana. Matana. Churning. Churning. Upalepa. Upalepa. Smearing. Smearing. Renka. On swings. On swings. Inkana. Inkana. Swinging. Arbarudita. Arbarudita. Taking care of crying babies. Hokshana. Hokshana. Sprinkling. Sprinkling. Sai. Marjana. Marjana. Cleaning. Cleaning. Adao. Adao. And so on. And so on. Gayanti. Gayanti. They sing. They sing. Cha. Cha. And. And. Enam. Enam. About him. About him. Anurakta. Anurakta. Very much attached. Very much attached. Diya. Diya. Whose minds. Whose minds. Ashru. Ashru. With tears. With tears. Kantia. Kantia. Whose throats. Whose throats. Danya. Danya. Fortunate. Brajastriya. Brajastriya. The ladies of Braja. Ladies of Braja. Ah, Poa Gai Di Lui Si Mu. Poa Gai Di Lui Si Mu. Purukrama. Purukrama. Of Lord Krishna. Of Lord Krishna. Ji Krishna Te. Ji Krishna Te. Chitta. Chitta. By consciousness. By consciousness. Sang Yi Se. Yana. Yana. Whose acquisition of all desired objects. Whose acquisition of all desired objects. Translation. The ladies of Braja are the most fortunate of women because their minds fully attached to Krishna and their throats always choked up with tears. They constantly sing about him while milking the cows, winnowing grains, churning butter, gathering cow dung for fuel, riding on swings, taking care of their crying babies, sprinkling the ground with water, cleaning their houses, and so on. By their exalted Krishna consciousness, they automatically acquire all desirable things. Krishna Oma jnana timarandasya gyananjana shalakaya Shaksura nilisandena tasma shri gurave nama Shri chaitanya manobhisham stapitam yena bhutale Swayam rupakadamayam tadati swapadantikam Vandeham Shri Guru Shri Yata Padakamalam Shri Guru Vaishnavam Shya Shri Rupam Sakrajatam Sahagana Raghunatan Vitam Tam Sajevam Sarvaitam Savadutam Parichana Saitam 
Krishna Chaitanya Devam, Sri Radha Krishna Padan Sahagana Lalita, Sri Vishaka Nitamsya. Hey Krishna Karana Sindhu, Tina Bandhu Jagatpate, Gopesha Gopi Kanta, Radha Kanta Namaste. Tapta Kanchana Gorangi, Radhe Vrinda Vinishwari, Vishabhanu Sate Devi, Pranamami Hari Priya, Vancha Kaupata Rubyasya, Kripa Sindhu Vaivacha, Patitanam Kavanevyo, Vaishnavivyo Namo Namo. Namao Vishnu Padaya Krishna Pristaya Bhutale Srimati Bhakti Vedanta Swami Niti Namine Namaste Sarasati Deve Kauravani Prasharine Nirvisesha Shunyavali Paschachyate Satarine Jaya Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadatha Shri Vasadi Kaur Bhatta Vinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama Rama This is very important section here in this section of Srimad Bhagavatam. These few verses spoken by these ladies of Mathura. These ladies of Mathura are pointing out the exalted position of the gopis. As described here, that these ladies are Danya Brajastri, Danya Brajastriya, the 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 these the Brajastriya, the wives of the on the the ladies, Striya, ladies, right? The ladies of Vrindavan, they are Danya, they are the most fortunate. Of woman. So why are they so fortunate, these village women? When we read about their activities, we think, oh my goodness. I don't know what they're, they're not so fortunate, is it? They're, they're taking, they take care of their crying babies. And they're picking up the cow dung. Look at Sitarani screen, he picks up, he's not eager to pick up cow dung. <laughs> <laughs> but the cowherd women, they're doing many activities, they're very busy. <laughs> but they're always remembering Krishna. <laughs> so this is the important point here in this verse, that remembering Krishna doesn't mean we stop activities. These ladies of Braja are very active. They're doing so many things, milking the cows and churning the butter. Mm. 
No, they're women, and some, many of them are married women with young children. But they don't forget Krishna for a moment. Always Krishna conscious. And their throats are always choked up with tears. And they're always sing, they're always singing the glories of Krishna. So this is the very special nature of the ladies of Raja. And this is why Lord Chaitanya uh, says of all the devotees, these ladies of Raja, the gopis of Raja, they are the, the most, the highest, the best of all devotees. And the, the Goswamis of Vrindavan, they follow in the mood of the gopis. Right. Loka nam hitakari no tribuvane manyo saranyakaro. Radha Krishna padaravinda bhajana nande namata uko. Vande krupa sanatana pragujago shri jiva gopavaro. This is the verse describing how the, the Goswamis were always engaged in studying scriptures and establishing the religious principles. And they are worshipping Radha and Krishna and they are following in the mood of the gopis of Raja. Gopi Bhartu Pada Kamala Or, right? That we also want to follow in the footsteps of the gopis. And the mood of the gopis is to be the servant of the servant of the servant of Krishna. The mood of the gopis is Vipralamba Seva, serving Krishna but in the mode of separation from Krishna. Now the ladies of Mathura, they're seeing Krishna and he's come there to Mathura and he's in the wrestling arena. But these ladies of Mathura, they see all the gopis of Vrindavan there. They're more fortunate than us. Because they see Krishna every day when he is going to the forest, when he's with the cows. They see Krishna in very sweet, loving situations. But the ladies of Mathura, they are seeing Krishna in this wrestling arena and Krishna and Balaram are fighting these big, powerful people, these wrestlers who have been matched with Krishna and Balaram are not, they're not a fair match for Krishna and Balaram。Balaram。Balaram。Balaram。Balaram。Balaram。Balaram。Balaram。Balaram。Balaram。Balaram。Balaram。Balaram。Balaram。Balaram。Balaram。Balaram。Balaram。Balaram。Balaram。
bodies like a mountain and Krishna and Balaram are just small with soft bodies. So the ladies of Mathura have to see Krishna in this situation. It's not very pleasant for them. But these people in Vrindavan, the gopis in Vrindavan, they see Krishna in the village, it's so wonderful there. Right. They say Krishna is perfect in Dwarka. But he is more perfect in Mathura. But he is most perfect when he is in Vrindavan. And so the, the gopis there able to relish Krishna in this most in that most wonderful situation there in Dhaban. Because in Vrindavan there is a Govardhan Hill, there's a Yamuna River. And there are peacocks and parrots and monkeys. Even when <coughs> even the even when the gopis went to see Krishna at Kurukshetra, they didn't like it. The gopis, they didn't come here to Mathura for the wrestling match. They left the gopis in Vrindavan to take care of the cows. But when Krishna was going to come to Kurukshetra, he said, when I come to Kurukshetra, I want all the gopis to come because they didn't come with me to Mathura. So I want them to come to Kurukshetra and be with me in Kurukshetra. Let the comfort boys stay back and take care of the cow. This time when I come to Kurukshetra, give the gopis a chance to come. But when the gopis came there to Kurukshetra and saw Krishna in Kurukshetra, it wasn't the same anymore. They were not satisfied. So the gopi said, no, this is not the same, this is not the Krishna we know. We don't have this Krishna at Kurukshetra, this is not so pleasing for us. Mm. Because in Kurukshetra, Kurukshetra there was many military, there were many soldiers and chariots. And a lot of traffic. Chariots going up and down and elephants coming up and down and horses and soldiers. There was no Yamuna River. No Govardhanshan. No parrots and monkeys. It's not the same place, it's a different mood. 
So the gopis they appreciate Krishna and Vrindavan. And we see from this verse how although they're so busy with all of their activities, still they never forget Krishna for a moment. So that is pure devotional service. Right? It should be uninterrupted without get deviations and uninterrupted without any gap. When you go through the Vyasa Puja book, I see many devotees in their offering, they talk about 24-7, you know, 24 hours, 7 days a week, you know. This is actually the mood of pure devotion. Now, now they have these shops, you know, like the 7-Eleven, they open all the time, all the time. Supermarkets never close. Restaurants even. You can go in the middle of the night. So the gopis, their devotional service is like that. It's without any interruption. So they're, they're so deeply attached to Krishna that they can't forget him. Even they try to forget him, they can't. So this is the level of pure love and devotion. In the material understanding of what is pure love. But such a thing as pure love, then some people are often interested to know more about it. Can you tell me? They want to understand what is this pure love. So this pure love is actually seen here in Vrindavan. It's seen in the activities of Krishna and the gopis. Because Krishna, because Krishna, because these gopis are always remembering Krishna, the go Krishna also is always remembering the gopis. Just like there's this, this wonderful song, Naratam Das Thakur, he says, uh, Tomara Ridoi Sada Govinda Vishram, Govinda Kohina Mora, Vaishnava Param. Uh, Naratam Das Thakur is saying that. The, the heart of the devotee is the resting place of Lord Govinda. The resting place of Govinda. 
And Govinda says, Lord Govinda, Krishna says, the devotees or the Vaishnavas are in my heart. So this is the loving reciprocation. The gopis love Krishna more than their own life, and Krishna loves the gopis more than his life. So the ladies of Mathura, they're appreciating how fortunate are these ladies of Vrindavan. You know, we would think, oh, the ladies in the, these village women, they don't know anything, they're not educated, they're not very sophisticated. But the ladies of Mathura, you know, they're more educated, they're more sophisticated, high class people. But, but these ladies of Mathura, they are appreciating the good fortune of the ladies of Vrindavan. Krishna conscious. They're, they're born in Vrindavan, so they're brought up in Krishna consciousness. You know, we brought up with uh, movies and film stars and sportsmen. Our minds are absorbed in thinking about some famous performing artist, singer, or musician. But in Vrindavan, people in Vrindavan, they're just brought up in Krishna consciousness. They just simply from their birth, they're simply hearing the holy names of the Lord. And they're seeing the form of the Lord. So it's so much it's just natural for them to remember Krishna because we, we were telling yesterday about how attractive that form of the Lord is. That when we when people see that form of the Lord they forget everything. When, when people hear the sound of Krishna's flute, then they become controlled by that. They become captivated. They have to go towards that sound. 
。當佢哋聽到 Krishna 嘅笛子聲咧，佢哋就被個笛子聲所吸引咧，然後咧就追隨佢嘅笛子聲嘅去處。And the pastimes of Krishna are so absorbing that people are reciting them their whole lives. Krishna 嘅消遣時光咧，亦都係咁吸引，所以佢哋一生咧都喺度歌唱歌頌緊 Krishna 嘅消遣時光。The beauty of Krishna was so overwhelming that even Krishna himself becomes stunned seeing his own reflection. 而 Krishna 嘅美貌咧，亦都係咁卓越啦。就算 Krishna 本人啊，亦都被佢自己嘅美貌咧所誒、呃、令到自己目定口眼。So everything in relation to Krishna is of a different, is transcendental. It has nothing to do with the material world. 所有有關 Krishna 嘅一切咧，都係超然，係同物質世界咧係完全無關。We may think that, oh, well, maybe you're attracted to the form of Krishna today, but in the future you won't find it so attractive. You know, once you, if you see him every day, then you'll lose your, you, you become familiar. You won't appreciate. 或者你會講啦，啊，你今日或者覺得 Krishna 咧係好受吸引啦，或者你誒過多幾日啊，或者將來咧，你就唔會覺得 Krishna 係咁吸引。But it's not like that with Krishna. Rather, the more you see Krishna, the more the pleasure increases every day. 咁但係對於 Krishna 嘅形象嚟講咧，咁呢個情況就唔會發生嘅，因為我哋越係見多有關 Krishna 嘅形象咧，我哋就越會受吸引。We come and see the deities, and the more we see the deities, the more we become attracted to see the deity. It becomes, it becomes more and more attractive, ever increasing. 咁我哋越係嚟近見神像咧，我哋越見得多咧，我哋越受神像吸引，我哋咧係越想見，永遠都係覺得咧係有增無減。Material world is a different experience。咁但係物質世界嘅經驗咧就係完全唔一樣。The pleasure is always reducing。誒，物質世界嘅嘅令人喜悦嘅東西咧，其實不斷係喺度推減。You read one book, you you read a book, you read it the second time, it's still not so good. The third time, it's boring. 咁如果你遇到一本書咧，你讀咗一次，你讀第二次咧已經冇咁好睇噶啦。你再讀第三次咧，你會覺得好悶。But the Srimad Bhagavatam, the topics of Krishna become more and more attractive by hearing them again and again. 而聖經《波羅那談》裏邊嘅題目咧。Because ev everything in relation to Krishna is of a different nature, it's of the transcendental realm. The pleasure is always increasing. 咁因為有關誒 Krishna 嘅一切題目咧，都係超然嘅，所以咧佢嘅吸引力咧係只有咧係越嚟越大，越嚟越深。You cannot give up the taste for what for Krishna. The more we Tasting Krishna, the more we want to taste Krishna. When you start to enjoy Krishna, you will not give up. You will want to continue to pursue him. So this is the way of Krishna. 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 And they are glorifying these ladies of Raja. They are saying these ladies of Raja, these village women, they are really the fortunate ladies. So they are saying these ladies of Raja, they are really the fortunate ladies. Now, of course, ladies in Raja, they don't have nice clothes. You see their and you see their cloth very simple, drab color, not very. You know they don't have the famous brands or anything of the ladies of Mathura. 咁相比嚟講咧 ，Raja 嘅蒙牛姑娘咧嘅衣服咧又只係好簡樸啦，係唔會好色彩斑斕嘅。啊，相對 Mathura 嘅誒城市嘅女士嚟講咧，咁佢哋就衣著華。And they decorate themselves with simply some. They get the color from stones. They rub stones together, and they get colors to color their skin. 
咁佢哋誒 project 嘅無忽能咧，只能夠咧係喺誒石頭裏邊嗰啲唔同嘅顏色裏邊咧，係將自己咧係打扮。When we see Krishna, how Krishna decorates himself with peacock feather. Then Krishna, then, if he is using this peacock feather to decorate himself, because peacocks are everywhere there in Vrindavan, so feathers are easily found. Because peacocks are in Vrindavan, there are so many, so they are easily found. Then Krishna puts one in his hair. Then Krishna then puts one in his hair to decorate himself with peacock feather. So that's village life, simple life, natural life, depending on nature and the cows. But Vrindavan is a very special village because it's not just it's not just the cows and, and nature. But it's also Krishna. Krishna is there. Krishna, Vrindavan is a very special place. So not only it has the cows and the cows, but it has also Krishna. If we simply have village life without Krishna consciousness, then it has no meaning. In any place, if we don't have Krishna consciousness, it has no meaning. And so Prabhupada's vision was that we would Create communities with the Vrindavan atmosphere. 咁所以聖巴拉嘅視野咧就係話，我哋咧係要誒創造 Vrindavan 嘅心水。Where the devotees would sing the glories of Krishna and recite the pastimes of Krishna. 正如我話姑姑娘咁樣咧，佢哋係歌唱咧 Krishna 嘅思念時光 ，Krishna 嘅榮耀。嗯 ，just like Prabhupada gave the name for the there's one community which they have in America, Gita Nagari. So, in the same way, we have a name called Gita Nagari. 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 Yeah, Nagari. A place where the Bhagavad Gita is sung. So, the meaning is that one place is to be able to listen to the Bhagavad Gita. So, we actually Require to have these kind of places. We need a nice village atmosphere so that devotees can peacefully absorb themselves in Krishna consciousness. Okay, so we are very need to have these places, and to have these kind of villages, villages, and villages, so that we can absorb Krishna consciousness. Of course, you can be Krishna conscious anywhere. These ladies in Mathura, they should also be Krishna conscious. But there's special potency in Vrindavan. In Vrindavan, everything is there to remind us of Krishna. Okay. Prabhu, any Janani Vash Prabhu like to say something? Okay. Any questions? Okay. Shrimad Bhagavatam ki jai, Shrimad ki jai.